Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my experiences with a drive-in theater. And why I want to talk about it is because, well, I feel like a lot of people, especially my generation Gen Z, have probably never been to a drive-in theater before. So I thought it'd be interesting to share my experiences with you. Now, if you don't know what a drive-in theater is, basically it's an outdoor movie theater with a parking lot attached to it. The idea basically being is that you essentially watch the movie in, in your car through a big screen. They were really popular in my country for a while. This was because after World War II, cars started to become very big here, and there were a lot of businesses that tried to cash in on a trend, like drive-in diners, drive-in theaters, and other things like that. Nowadays, however, they're not as popular as they used to be. Now, well, since I didn't really have a car, I basically had someone else drive me there. So, what's it like? Well, the first thing I want to point out is that driving theater is not open every day. There are days, weeks, and even months where they're not open. Also, they only show two movies a day, and it's usually at night. To be fair, this is an outdoor theater, so it kind of makes sense. Now, if you think that the cars would block the view, this is not the case. Um, the cars are essentially in roads, and they're spaced apart, so you can easily see the movie. Now, you might be wondering, how do you hear the movie? Do you have to roll it on your windows or something? Well, no, actually. Basically, how it works is that they play the movie's audio through a radio station, and you simply just tune into the radio station. Also, one thing I notice is that some people actually don't watch the movie in their car. Instead, they basically just have, like, the backseat of the car open up, and they basically, like, picnic out on the parking lot. It's kind of like a community picnic, only it's on a parking lot and they're all watching a movie together. Honestly, going to a traffic theater was a pretty unique and pretty cool experience in my opinion. With all that said, I can see why they kind of fall down style. I mean, like I said, they're not open every day and there's only a few hours that they're open. On top of that, you need a card to go to this place. Like I said, I don't have a car. I had someone... I was drive me then. I see drive-in theaters as a cool niche thing kind of deal. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day.